Good morning, neighbors. We're going to sing this southern gospel song, Men Are So Busy. Quickly the days that are numbered pass by. Quickly the days of God's judgment draws nigh. So heedless of dangers we're living today. God's love and mercy we're throwing away. Men are so busy with the worldly achievements, the mercies of Jesus they daily downtrod. God in His heaven, He must look down in pity on those who have carelessly. Forgotten their God. Well, he warned of the dangers that lie in their path. But they heed not his mercy and kindle God's wrath. The pleasures of this world are their only care. For where you have pleasure, their hearts will be there. Men are so busy with the worldly achievements. The mercies of Jesus, they daily downtrod. God in his heaven, he must look down in on those who have carelessly forgotten their God. He said that his kingdom was not of this world. So what is the profit of silver and gold? Cheap it will seem on that great judgment day When fire and great heat will melt it away Oh, men are so busy With their worldly achievements The mercies of Jesus they daily downtrod On those who have carelessly forgotten their God. It's an old song, but there's a lot of truth in it. That's the world that we've begun to live in. And you'll hear some of the older people, they'll say things like, are we any better off than we were years ago? It seems like families were closer, and and now we have all this technology and all these things uh, to m supposedly make our life easier, but we're even more busy. We have less time for one another. We no longer sit at the table and eat dinner together at night. We're running around constantly. We're never all together. And then we can't wonder, or we then we wonder, why is the world like this? Why are people depressed? Why are some people so upset? And I've often said this about myself, my goodness, I don't have any kind of memory, I'm so forgetful. But then I was reading, I don't even know who it was now that I think about it, uh, but I was reading this person, they said, it's not so much that people's memories are worse now, it's now we were never meant to be flooded with so many things, you know, so much technology, so much information, so much, uh, and we have so little time, or 
We run to get our kids on the school bus so that we can run back home so that we can get to work so that we can do this, that we can get that. And then we go, yeah, then we, we all get home and we're running to this sport. We're doing this, we're doing that. And these, and if, even if you're sitting there watching TV all the time, you have your cell phone, you have this information, you're getting, you always have your phone with you, always on guard for things. And he said, of course, we're going to forget things. The human brain was never meant for that. We're not meant to be flooded like this. Uh, and, uh, as this song is saying, uh, then we just, uh, I like I said, men are so busy with worldly achievements. The mercies of Jesus, they daily downtrod. You know, they just forget about that. That's not so important. We have things to do on Sunday. We have things to do on Wednesday. We can't get to church. We can't pray. We don't have this where I'm too tired at night because I've been too busy during the day. And we never sit there just and meditate on the Lord, but maybe for a moment. We can watch hours of television very rarely do we sit down with his word but the frightening thing is it's not something that's new we should have learned this is something that's is a very natural thing it's what mankind has always done because in deuteronomy chapter 31 in verse 15 it says now the lord appeared at the tabernacle in a pillar of cloud and the pillar of cloud stood above the door of the tabernacle and the lord said to moses behold you will rest with your fathers, and this people will rise and play the harlot with the gods of the foreigners of the land, where they go to be among them, and they will forsake me and break my covenant, which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be aroused against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured. And many evils and trouble shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Have not these evils come upon us, because our God is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day because of all the evil which they have done and that they have turned to other gods. Now therefore write down this song for yourselves and teach it to the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. When I have brought them to the land flowing with milk and honey, of which I swore to their fathers and they have eaten and filled themselves and grown fat, then they will turn to other gods and serve them, and they will provoke me and break my covenant. Then it shall be, when many evils and troubles have come upon them, that this song will testify against them as a witness, for it will not be forgotten in the mouths of their descendants, for I know the inclination of their behavior today, even before I have brought them to the land of which I swore to give them. So it's not a question of if, it's they will. They will. And uh, I think it's interesting, in verse 17 it says and many evils and troubles shall befall them so that they will say in that day have not these evils come upon us because our god is not amongst us and i will surely hide my face in that day because of all the evil which they have done and that they have turned to other gods you know they're going to hopefully learn a lesson when all these troubles and terrible things come upon them god said i'm going to allow it because when they get to the land the land that i promised their fathers all these blessings you know they're going to forget all about me. And though they had their plenty of the faults, our founding fathers, when they founded the country, they were men of the Bible. They read the Bible. They understood these things. They knew that there was a God in heaven. Not all, maybe, but many. And uh, and here they were like, but we know this. The Bible is a good thing. We'll build the nation upon this with this understanding. We'll infuse it into our laws and you go to Washington, D.C., to Washington, D.C., and you'll see the Ten Commandments and things, things everywhere. But just like Israel, and I'm not just talking about the United States, I'm talking about almost every country. They just push God away. They push God out once they become blessed. They And just like Israel, like I said, when you get there, the place that I've promised your fathers, they're going to forget about me. And they're going to serve other gods. And they're going to go running after these things. Because now in their great blessings... They're going to forget about me. And that's what you see so much in they, like the song says, he uh, he warned us. He warned of the dangers that lie in our, our path. But they heed not his mercy, and they kindle God's wrath. Pleasures of this world is their only care. For where you have pleasure, their hearts will be there. And uh, that is the song. I mean, there's a lot of truth to it. There's a lot of warning in it. Then it says, he said that his kingdom was not of this world. So what is the profit of silver and gold? So cheap it will seem on that great judgment day when fire and great heat will melt it away. You know, and then when you, again, as I was saying earlier, if you speak to elderly people, they'll, at the end of their life, said, you know, my family doesn't hardly come around. And 
what I can't take any of this with me each day you don't know is this my last day but when you're young and you have all your health you, you that, those things are far from your mind and that's why we become so busy but I think God even allows that because at the end of our life we we sit there and take stock we sit there and wonder Lord I can't take it with me what what is waiting for me on the other side so let us wake up and let us slow down help us Lord in Jesus Christ's name amen